Hello, Facebook, YouTube. All right. Interesting message. It's interesting. I don't know if it's a message, but it's, you know, something to question that I notice people are not doing these days concerning what's reality, you know, is that, you know, people just looking at reality and thinking, well, you know, it's not, you know, it's not bad, it's not good, it's not, I mean, you know, here's the thing, the topic of this message is talking about the reality of uh, people in atmosphere, people in atmosphere, you know, do they go together? <laughs> well, I guess you will find out. Well, uh, here's the thing that people are, you know, because this world, of course, you see a lot of negativity. People are operating more negativity than positive in the world we live in. People are yielded to find themselves involving themselves to certain things that are contrary to what's natural or what is going to bring uh, the better people, you know what I'm saying? Not make people bitter. How you doing? And the thing is, they, they uh, are in, you know, involved in, in things in the world, you know, uh, concerning television and radio and, you know, places doing this, the places doing that. You know, places are partying, drinking, smoking, and doing all kind of stuff, and doing all kind of, you know, negative activities, and majority places, there's more places doing that kind of, you know, uh, thing, than there's places doing positive things, it's kind of like the ordeal that is going on in this world right now, and we will say, well, hey, you know, um, is this, you know, reality? Is, is this is what, you know, is, is this the way it is or this is the way it's supposed to be? You know what I'm saying? Are we supposed to look at the world and say, well, the world's bad. Well, it's bad. You know, I meet a lot of people that always have that perspective. Well, this is the way it is. This is the way it is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you will think that, okay, if something bad, if and when it's... Uh, of course, I find out when something is dear to you, something dear to you get destroyed. It's like, what happened to it? What? What? Who destroyed this? Who destroyed this thing here? What? Is, now, you know, we get panicking, uh, emotionally panicking, that you know, ready, mad, ready to, you know, kill somebody because we're frustrated. But something dear is destroyed. It. But he's like, well, that's the way it is. You know, he, he posts things get destroyed. You know. And it's like, but the person's still angry and upset that something dear to, to that person has been destroyed. And they think that, you know, well, you know, this not supposed to happen. This is not supposed to happen like this. Life is not supposed to be like this, that something like this will happen, you know. And the thing is, people will, you know, look at life and they will think that, well, this is the way it is, you know. This way it's supposed to be. What's up, man? Where's your mom? Mm -hmm. Hello, how you doing? Your mom. Where's your mom? Oh. Okay, well, tell her I said, hey, I hope she's watching my videos. All right, later. You're, you're, you are, oh. I'm Sam, mom. Oh, okay. Well, tell Mac at the laundry mat said, hey. Okay. Take these guys. And the thing is, you know, how you doing? You taking advantage. I mean, you think that something has been done wrong to you. You know, you say, well, this is not supposed to happen. But here, and we will like think, we will look at bad stuff. Who, who, who was the guy who, I mean, I'm finna talk about, uh, let me see, Batman. I like Batman's story. Batman, you know, was a rich, of course, young, rich young he was a son of a rich parents and his rich parents went to a movie and you know uh, one night and all of a sudden a mugger wanted to mug you know his his father and all of a sudden the father you know killed both of his parents and left him all alone 
And the thing is, that kind of tragic thing, you know, if you find out the story, motivated him to want to help. He was going through emotional, you know, missing his parents and stuff like that. But in that, he could have took that and said, well, you know, uh, I should end my life. I don't have my parents, you know, I should commit suicide or whatever or something, do something bad, drastic to my life or whatever. How you doing, sir? How y'all doing? Um, and all of a sudden, but he took that and said, wait a minute, I can go out and help people that's going through, that been in the same position that I am, and I can learn how to, you know, fight crime, fight people that, you know, that kill the people, ideal people that killed my um, parents. And he took that and became this superhero that you see. You know, and the thing is, people, you know, look at, say, well, well, what you mean? But here's the thing. It took him a sacrifice of, of his parents to motivate him to see, wait a minute, it's more than just me being a victim. It's more to me. I'm not the only person uh, got become victimized by crime. M many people got in Gotham got victimized by crime. So therefore, what I'm going to do since, you know, I'm not the only person that got victimized, is help others that has been victimized in crimes and make sure that they are all right, that, that the bad thing that happened to me don't happen to them. And But guess what? When Batman was coming to this understanding of doing this, see, Batman started understanding, wait a minute, evil is everywhere, you know? Evil is going on here. Evil is going on there. Evil is going on everywhere. So are you you going to think that, you know, it's just a joker? No, it's not a joker. It's the penguin. It's the, you know, Riddler. It's the cat girl. Girl, it's, it's this Iceman. It's this person. It's this person. It's this person. And you see all these evil villains. You notice that, you know, there's more evil villains than heroes. Crazy, ain't it? But you see all these villains. When you come to the understanding that, wait a minute, I don't think it's the evil villain. I think we're in a place that is developing an atmosphere for evil to, you know, manipulate people to cause, you know, people to do harm. You know what I'm saying? I think that I live in a world that there's an atmosphere that is manipulating and controlling people to hurt people. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you know, the thing is, that's what I learned about. God taught me about wrestling against flesh and blood. You know what I'm saying? It's a foolish thing to do when you understand the reality of the evil. The evil is Satan and his kingdom of darkness. It's going to always be Satan and his kingdom of darkness, no matter how much you hate your brother and sister, no how much you argue with your brothers and sister, no matter how you kill your brothers and sister, it's going to be these evil spiritual villains that wants to just kill and steal and destroy you. <laughs> that people are not understanding that it's been developed this atmosphere that is around us, this evil atmosphere that is going on around us that now people are lenient to do things contrary, opposite of nature. You know what I'm saying? Opposite of the nature of that God has created us to be. They're willing to do things that are opposite of, of, of things and the thing is we look at it as like oh you know that just you know happened to them and they feel like they feel they feel that this is the way they supposed to be they feel that life is supposed to be like this and that's how it's supposed to be no that's not supposed to be the reality no the God when God created the earth he said it was good he said it was good. He didn't say it was bad. He said it was good. He didn't say it was evil. He said it was good. And there is in, in every human being, every human being desires something good out of life. One thing you can know about every human being, it may be the wrong kind of good of, from their viewpoint and standpoint in life, but they, every human being desires something that is an object ideal of what's good. Of course, that Satan, of course, will twist their uh, desires concerning their, uh, their, their sinful nature. But that, hey, but the thing is, everybody desires good. And the problem is that good has been misinterpreted because they, 
and, and it's going to continually be misinterpreted when you don't recognize the atmosphere, when you don't recognize the evil things that are going on in the atmosphere, that's going on the high places. Like, you know, I know Christians probably don't even know where the high places are. <laughs> They will quote that scripture in Ephesians 6 and 12, and they don't probably even know where the high place is at. You know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy the world we live in, the crazy the mindsets people are operating in right now that they're not really are in positioning trying to make the world a better place, Lit, tr truly trying to do that. But they're busy, like I said, they're against people, they're against the flesh. They're not trying to come against the atmosphere of darkness. They're not, and in, in order to come against the atmosphere of darkness, it's not these, you know, uh, religious, you know, events that you see around, you know, uh, concerts or conferences or camp meetings or, you know, uh, I don't, revivals. They're not things, if they were the solution, then things wouldn't be getting so bad. You know what I'm saying? It's getting, because that's the sad part. People don't have discernment to see how bad it's keep on getting when people are trying to do something about it. But it's in the scriptures, you know, and it's going to be sitting right there staring at people in the scriptures. Like I said, it's fellowship. Fellowship right there. Peter, Matt, Acts 2, 42. Apostles doctrine and fellowship sitting right there. It's in Ephesians uh, 3, you know what I'm saying? I think 9. Talks about the mystery, the fellow, fellowship of the mystery that's supposed to defeat the principalities and the powers that is in fellowship. The answer is in fellowship. It's been sitting there all a long time, but people will not engage in this because fellowship doesn't magnify men. It doesn't make men become this attention, you know, person. Yeah, and the thing is, hey, and it, it makes people don't understand that, you know, you are not, you know, what is the true enemy? And what is the true enemy not that me. is um, fighting <laughs> against humanity? You know what I'm saying? That we need to Amen. understand that, uh, uh, that we need to understand that the atmosphere that is developing in this earth spiritually that unfortunately now Satan has those um, places that humanity be surrendered to him each and every day that you know we need to under we need to just follow the simple protocol concerning scriptures and not be about a system that's about magnifying people and thinking that they're high and better than everybody else but be about a system that's all about connecting and joining together the body of Christ and that is going to be fellowship and it's going to sit in the scriptures yeah, and look at you and uh, this church system, this church system is about, you know, creating schemes or men crafting this, I try to tell them, to not glorify, you know, uh, people, you know what I'm saying? To, to glorify them and think that they got the solution and answer and you, you're going to find it in men, but you're not going to find it there. But you're only going to find it in the scriptures and what's reality concerning the scriptures. Like I say, look at the scriptures. Uh, uh, Ephesians 3 and I think in 9 through 11 talks about the fellowship you know fellowship you're gonna find fellowship is the answer and you could keep on doing this you know see me say a word of God see me you know preach and look better than everybody see me you know um, do all this it's not there but guess what when you do what God tell you to do it will change the atmosphere of the world system it will do an impact that was supposed to be the impact and if you're concerned about the atmosphere when you trump the atmosphere you trump people and satan knows if i could get the atmosphere you know i can trump people but we need to understand and follow the protocol of the word of god and and, and be about what the scripture says and trump people and really shine a true light of jesus christ in the world and that's how the strategy is given to us we just have to humble ourselves and become servants and follow that strategy and God will uh, God will you know make a way alright that's the message to God be the glory here forever and ever in Jesus name Amen